Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to my let's play walkthrough of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and we need to unlock another mission. Did you guess who's that Digimon correctly? Let me know in the comments section. So we need to head on up to uh, K Cafe and speak to Ryota. Oops, sorry, wasn't supposed to speak to you lady, I apologise. <laughs> Long enough to hear that you're a little bit concerned and confused. Damn straight. Okay, so a new quest should be on the board now. Flowers for Sakura. Oh, what should I do? What can I do? Is there something I can give to win over a girl's heart? <laughs> you jump in the gun a bit. I mean, she will be soon. <laughs> See, for me, it wouldn't be the normal things that you would like give to a girl. I guess chocolates is fine because I love chocolate, but like jewelry, I'm not really bothered about. Shoes, not bothered about. Stuff like that. Clothes, meh. Give me games or chocolate. <laughs> You're not making this easy for him, Kyoko. Yeah. I stopped thinking like a girl a long time ago. Oh, Kyoko. That sounds sad. That sounds like she's given up on love. Oh god, I'm kind of scared as to what Nokia's gonna say. <laughs> it could be anything coming out of Nokia's mouth. A sleuth's job seems pretty tough. Keep it up, do your best today. Thanks, I'm pumped up now. Thanks to you, I'll do my best. Off to Shinjuku! Right, before I forget, I want to go to the shop as well. I've not done this in a while. I thought I was running out or did I replace them? I must have replaced them then. Because I've got 15 of them. Okay, that's fine.
didn't see anyone over here but I'll just uh, double check down the side street it is <laughs> it's Kyoko! That's my waifu! <laughs> it's never a relaxing time talking to Kyoko. Uh, sorry, talking to Nokia. Accessories! Well, it's actually never a relaxing time talking to Kyoko either. <laughs> she makes me nervous. Oh, Kyoko! You're so making this hard for him. It's more than like, it's love. <laughs> wow, he's getting bossy, isn't it? Enough back chat. Do what I hired you to do. A romantic friend. Maybe Arata's a secret romantic? Ah! Kyoko agrees! Okay, Akihabara, next port of call! An all-you-can-eat cake buffet at a nice hotel. Hmm, I don't think that's romantic. That has potential risk of projectile vomit <laughs> if you eat too much. And that's not romantic. 
I've seen The Exorcist, okay? There was no romance that night after that movie. <laughs> Probably down the side street as well. Was that my sexy Date there? Date! Love of my life, what are you doing? Date does rival Kyoko for me. You're a secret romantic. Don't hide it. I know your secrets. <laughs> He's getting nervous though. Why would you get nervous? Unless it was true. You haven't been secretly wooing my Kyoko, have you, Arata? Maybe that's where she got the idea from. Sexy lingerie. A poison dagger! <laughs> okay, Arata is not a romantic at all. Why? Why do you even think that's romantic? Yeah. I know about them, but I don't know about them. I don't want to hear this. Top one. It's not. No, mate. It's just not. Oh, God. Oh, I thought he was being serious. Theme park. That's not a bad idea. Again, I wouldn't enjoy that personally because I have this reoccurring nightmare of uh, it happens at least once a year where I go on a roller coaster that goes upside down and I fall out and die. I wonder if anyone else watching this has reoccurring nightmares. I do. Every single year I have that dream and that is why I will not go on a roller coaster that goes upside down because I think it's some kind of sign or something. And I'm scared of heights as well so I struggle with that kind of thing anyway so and most rides in theme parks are like really high up so like 80% of the rides I wouldn't go on so it'd just be a waste for me to go to that kind of thing. Simple but elegant. So the last person on the list is Yuko now. I just think every time we come up with a suggestion he panics because he doesn't really have the guts to express his feelings just yet. So that's why he keeps giving us new tasks and changing it each time. Grow a pair, man. Grow a pair. If you don't confess that you like someone, then they might slip through your fingers. I mean, life's too short. Ugh. 
Oh, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? I need to log in. But at the same time, it is a risk because you need to be prepared that they might not always feel the same way for you in return. And if they are good friends with you, then they need to not throw away the friendship, I guess. Like, you both need to work it out and still be friends. I don't know, it is hard being friends with someone that you really like, though, in a romantic way. I've never had to deal with that because, um, like, it's always been me the one splitting up with people and then just like, I've offered to be friends with them but they've ended up, ended up just like cutting ties with me. I guess it's too difficult for them, so. And delicious <laughs> oh my god this is a few times now all she seems to have is food on the mind I understand you though Yuko I love my food too Well, that's true. Food. <laughs> Is that food? I think it is, isn't it? Onigiri. Is it food? Let me know. That's what you should have done all along. We're still getting paid though. <laughs> We've still spent time trying to solve this for you. Youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> That's such an old person thing to say. You're not even old, Kyoko. Slew Frank up. Okay guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here, so on the next episode we will be taking on this mission. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. Good luck on the next Who's That Digimon. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy guys. Who's That Digimon? <laughs>